This is how you use the installer. Run the UMVC3 stage installer program. Your ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 folder will go in the top box. If your game is installed in the default location in the C drive, you can click open and the prompt should conveniently start in the correct location so you can just click select folder. If this is not the case, open your Steam library, right click Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, then go to Manage, Browse Local Files. Copy the address of the file explorer that pops up with Ctrl C. Paste the copied address into the box in the installer with Ctrl V. Click the Install Stage button at the bottom and the stage will be finished installing once you see this pop up. The rest of this video is for stage modders. Ignore this if you only wanted to know how to use the installer. Normally, installing mods for Marvel 3 requires you to overwrite files in the native PC x64 folder, located in your Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 folder. This isn't usually an issue with things like character mods, because they often don't require you to overwrite the same files. For stage modding, you have the actual stage itself, which loads after you pick the stage. There won't be any conflicts for stage modding here. And then you have the rest of the assets, such as the announcer audio, Wonderland. stage previews, and text. All of these aren't isolated to a single file per stage like the stage itself. All stages announcer clips are compiled together in a single file, and likewise with the stage previews and text. So if we were to use the manual installation process for our stage mods, you would only be able to see the stage preview of one of those mods. So I created a stage installer so this wouldn't be a problem. If you are a stage modder and your stage mod alters the stage preview, please use this installer. Download the executables from the link in the description. Unzip the file and you will see umvc3stageinstaller.exe umvc3 stage file generator.exe and a templates folder. I'll be walking through each of these so keep them in mind. Now when you are finished with modding your stage, run umvc3 stage file generator. In the top box, select your stage's arc file. Click generate umvc3 stage. This will generate a umvc3 stage file, which is just a zip file containing 0000.arc. This is the stage itself. announcer.xsew the Daily Bugle, and files for the stage previews and the text. To change the stage select previews and the announcer audio clip, we will need to replace some of these files. In the templates folder, there are a couple Photoshop templates to use to edit the stage previews. Let's quickly walk through how to use them. This asset appears in the stage select, windscreen, and in arcade mode. In the borders group, look for the stage your mod is going over, and toggle the visibility of it. After that, put your changes above the preview goes here layer. When you are done, save the file as stagepreview.dds. You will need the NVIDIA Texture Tools Exporter plugin for Photoshop. Since you have already created a stage mod, you probably already have this plugin, so I will not go over how to install it. Anyway, in the drop down box, select DXT5 Interpolated Alpha. This asset appears in the stage select. It is the small thumbnail in the stage select carousel. Go to the Preview Goes Here layer, and double click the green box. This will open another tab. Fit your changes here, and then save it, and it'll reflect in the original template. Now go back to the template and save as smallstagepreview.dds. Then in the drop-down box, select DXT5 Interpolated Alpha. Now that you got your stage previews saved, you will need to convert them to the correct file type. I use Eternal Yoshi's 3 work tool to accomplish this. Download is in the description. So what I like to do is, open any random ARC file, import the stage previews into any folder in the program, select dxt5 slash bc3 as the texture type, then export the files you just imported as a .txt file. Now that the previews are in text format, Open the generated UMVC3 stage file from before as a zip, then drag and drop the preview text files that you created. You will need to create a XSEW file for the announcer audio clip. After you have created your audio clip, this is a test. save it as a WAV file and make sure the sample rate is 48,000.
we can convert WAV files to XSEW with this MT Framework sound tool. Download is in the description. Click Sound Converter. Load your WAV. Save as XSEW. And select a place to save the file. The converted file will be named the same name as the WAV file you supplied, but will end in .xsew. Rename the converted file to announcer.xsew. Open the generated UMVC3 stage file from before as a zip, then drag and drop announcer.xsew into it. As for editing the arcade and stage select text, it's pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to go over that. Just edit and replace the stage select text and arcade text files inside the UMVC3 stage file. Once you have finished replacing the stage previews and any other things that you wanted to replace in the UMVC3 stage file, you are ready to package your stage mod. Create a folder. Copy the UMVC3 stage installer.exe and readme.txt into that folder. Move the UMVC3 stage file into that folder. Now you can zip that folder and it's ready to be uploaded. The Daily Bugle. Thank you for